All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and such. And today we are going to be going over how to add an ID net point to a Simplex 4010 Fire Alarm control panel. So first off, we have two troubles. One is because I just restarted the panel, so it has a time and date trouble. And then two is because of an extra device trouble. That extra device trouble is in here. This is the pull station point number 13 here. We're going to be adding this today to the panel. So I'm not going to show you how to like wire it up because it's pretty simple. You put the two wires into the back of the pull station and then you put it on the wall. I think people can understand that. But we are going to go into addressing and putting it into the panel. So you can see, oops, under here, this is a 4099-9006 adjustable dual action pull station. So under here, there are a series of dip switches that follow binary code. So right now, mine is set to 13, and you do this by adding up to get to the number. So like it goes, so switch 1 is up, that means 1. Switch 3 is up, that means 4. Switch forwards up, that means 8. So 4 plus 8 is 12, plus 1 is 13. Because it goes and it just doubles each time. That's how binary works. So I have it set as point 13 on the address card. So that's pretty much all we're really going to be doing at the pull station. The rest of it's going to be programming in at the panel. So once you have your pull station up and your address put on, and come back to the panel, and it will give you, if you're doing this as like a, after you've already set it up, it will give you a extra device trouble. So see, extra device telling you you have, well, an extra device in the panel. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go in and log in to our level four code. So we'll just log in to our level four and we will get a service trouble that will not go away until the panel is either, is either cold or warm restarted. But the only way to clear this trouble is to restart the panel. But we're going to be doing that anyways because we are going to be adding a new point. So we are going to go back into menu. We are going to go down to programming. We're going to hit enter. It's going to give us a trouble. And even though you've hit enter on the panel, the enunciator is still going to give a programming trouble that you have to acknowledge from an enunciator. So we'll acknowledge that and it'll give you a programming mode system disabled. And that is the only way to stop the enunciators from sounding is to clear it on the enunciator. So we are going to go into configure points. We'll hit enter and we will go down to our, to our ZAM, IMM, IAM, ah, RIAM. Because the pole station we are working on is an IAM, so we're going to hit enter. We're going to add ID net point. So this is f the first way you can do this. This is like if you're adding like one or two points. And we have ID, ID net device M113. Now the second way I'm going to show you this is if we go back, not programming. Come on. If we go to quick config. We're going to hit enter, it's going to give us the programming mode trouble again. But because I've already acknowledged it on the enunciator, we are good. And the other way, the easier way, this is how I do it, is you go to auto detect new hardware. This is under level four, menu, quick configuration, auto detect new hardware. And again, the other way to do this is to go level four, programming, configure points, add new ID net point and then your ID not point. But this is the way I do it because it gets all my settings in and everything and all I have to do is hit one button. So we're going to do auto to detect new hardware. We're going to hit enter, it's going to give us a warning and we are going to say enter, we want to change the current configuration. We'll hit enter again, it really wants us to be sure. We are going to confirm detect new hardware. So we're going to hit enter and it's going to go through its detecting stage. You will hear the 4010 polling chip it will sound a little different than the normal polling pulse as it is polling for the new card. You'll hear it uh, click and change and you just gotta wait a minute. Well, it detects new hardware. So right now it is looking for anything. 
basically new cards. Now we are on to new IDNet devices. So these are things like pull stations, smoke detectors, anything basically with an address that's on node one or node two. But because this is a 4010, we only have one node, so everything's gonna be on node one. So we wait while it scans for IDNet devices. And we wait. So right now it is checking the entire SLC loop for devices and it's comparing every device that it hears back because the devices send back different frequencies. It's listening for every frequency and checking to see if it has that already in its list of known points. So it is scanning right now. It is pulling all the different frequencies and it says total IDNet devices added one. This is great if you're setting up a panel for the first time. You have 250 points, you just hit enter and it puts them all in. So then it's going to go back on its own. It's programming mode. What we are going to do is we are just going to save the configuration. And saving the configuration will now save the point in as a point. So wait for it to save. It will restart the panel and that will clear our service mode trouble. And now that we have the new point in, it is going to clear the extra device trouble. You still hear the enunciator blaring in the back. It will restart just what like the panel does. So we'll just give it a minute. I don't want to walk all the way back over there again. So once it goes to startup, the enunciator will clear. There we go. And now our troubles are a cold start. A system time and date and a cold start clears automatically and we have no other troubles. So that was setting up a new ID net point on a Simplex 4010 fire alarm control panel. And what we are going to do real quick is we are going to walk test it just to make sure it works. So we'll go ahead and log into our level three and we will put the panel in walk test with signal. So now if we go and pull that point, it should pulse the signals at 13. So let's do it. And there's our 13. So we now have successfully added a new ID net point on a Simplex 4010. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, have a wonderful day. Oh, come on. Have a wonderful day.